Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part two of our series of session on tally data management. In the last session, we learned how we can take a backup of the company, not just from your default tally folder, but also from any folder where tally data is residing. And we also understood the importance of taking the company data backup. In this session, we will learn two things. That is, one, we will also see how we can quickly repair the tally data company in case if it gets corrupted. Now, even after repairing, or normally we call that as rewriting of the data, even after repairing or rewriting of the data, let us assume your tally data is corrupted. That is where now your backup is going to be very useful. So we will see that in case if the data is not rewritable, then how are we going to restore the data from the backup that we have taken? Let us go to tally and explore these options. First, let us understand how to repair or rewrite your data. Just in case you are trying to select the company, but you get an error message, then how do we repair or rewrite the books of account? Execute tally. And when you are in the list of companies, you come to the menu bar and on the right side here, you have this button called F1 help. So click on F1 help and you have this menu troubleshooting. So click on troubleshooting. So you have this option here, which says company data. Do you want to repair the company data? Enter and tally is now again going to give you the list of companies that you want to rewrite. So select the company that you want to rewrite or repair and enter. The moment you enter by default, tally will give you this message where it is asking you to take a backup of the company before you rewrite the data or repair the data. And by default, the backup destination path is there and you can always select the backup destination path in tally so that every time when you are trying to take a backup, it will take a backup there. So now let us say that you don't want to take a backup since we have already taken a backup. How do we set this to know? Come to configure, click on configure. And here you have this option backup company data before repair. By default, it is yes. And if you want to change your backup destination path, you can come here and change. So just press enter again. So now it says you don't want to backup. Press escape and now come to repair and click on repair. Tally is now going to repair your data. Once it is repaired, now you can select the company. If the company is loading, then that means Tally is able to repair your data and it is now allowing you to select the data and work with the data. Let us now take the second use case scenario where even after you are trying to repair the data, if Tally is not able to repair the data and if you are not able to select the company, then we are going to now restore the backup, the latest backup that you have taken and we will start now working on that company. So let us see how are we going to restore the data. If you recall, in the previous session, we had taken a backup under D drive where we had created a folder name called tally backup and under that we created a subfolder with the name as the date on which you have taken the backup. There are two ways of restoring the backup. One, you know your original company is not getting loaded. So you can delete the company and then restore this backup in your default data folder or you can restore in any folder of your choice. Let us restore the data in the same folder where we had taken the backup so that you know we can see the backup and the restored company, the difference between the backup file and the restored company folder. So let us now restore the backup. To restore the backup, again, you go to the menu bar on top and go to your data menu. Click on data menu. You have this option called restore here. Come down, select restore. Again, this is very important for you to understand. Let's read this 
text. It says restore destination path. By default, it will always select your default data path. So if you have deleted the company where you had an issue with the company, then you can restore it in this folder or we can restore in any folder. So first we have to change the folder path because we want to restore in the same folder we had taken the backup. So I'm going to press backspace here and now we have to select the folder where the data needs to be restored. Let us select the folder, come here, go to select from drive, enter and we know it is there in the D drive, select D and the name of the file is tally backup, enter and under that we have the subfolder, select this folder and now the folder is selected here. So this is where we want to restore the data. So enter here and now you will see the restore destination path has been specified. Now Tally wants to know where is the backup. Now incidentally our backup is also there in the same folder. Again let us go and select the folder where the backup resides. So click on select from drive again, enter, select D, then you say tally backup folder, enter and go into the subfolder and here you will notice the tally is going to list out all the companies that have been backed up along with the company number and also the date on which the backup was taken. So if you notice here, the date and the time of backup is also mentioned. So this way you would know what is the latest backup that you have taken so you can restore the latest backup. Now let us select this company Potential Solutions Private Limited and let us restore. So I'm going to press enter here. Now again you can restore all the companies or you can restore the companies selectively. So in this case we are restoring only one company which got corrupted and go to end of list and press enter. So now Tally is asking you, shall I restore this backup under this folder path? So press enter. Now Tally is restored. Let us check if the company is already been restored. If you notice, this is the restored folder of company 10,000. Out of three companies, we have restored company number 10,000, which is potential solutions private limited. Now, if you want to access this company, you can go and access this company while selecting the company by changing the data path. So let's quickly see how we can go and access or open this company by changing the data path. So come here. Now this is the default data path where you have these companies. And now we have to open the company which is in a different folder. Click on this option, select from drive select D drive and then type tally backup enter go into this folder now we are able to view this file which we just now restored so select this and now this company gets selected and now you can start updating your data in this company I hope this session would have given you a fair idea of the importance of your tally data and we also learned how we can rewrite the tally data and also how we can restore our backup. In the next session, we will explore various options of exporting any of your report in various file format that tally provides. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.